Hello and welcome to today's video. Today we're picking out some new makeup to use for the month of March. I am so pumped for March. The sun has been coming out more and more and I'm just ready for spring to get here. So we need to pull out some more fun kind of spring themed makeup to play with in anticipation of spring. So why don't we go ahead and get into it. Okay, as we get started up top, bear with me today. I'm filming by myself. Normally I have an extra set of hands to make sure everything's in focus and things, but Bo's at work today. So we'll start up up top like normal, but this, these items right here are Project Pan items. These things right here. These up here are things that I'm gonna put back into my drawers. So let's get into that first drawer. Okay, in this first drawer, I only have three items to put back. The first is this Anastasia Glow Kit that I hit pan on in my project pan, so I've rolled it out of my project pan, but I'm gonna put it back for now. Another item that I wanted to show you is one that I actually think I might keep out one more month because it's just such a beautiful like springtime palette. Look at these like blush options right here. This is the Natasha Denona Diamond and Blush Palette and this is the shade Daria I think. Yes, Daria and I just think this is just such a good palette for this time of year so I'm going to leave it out. I actually kept this out last month but I didn't end up being able to use it as much as I wanted to because I was trying to hit pan on that other highlight and it just kind of consumed my life. But now that I'm not working on a highlighter currently I think I'll reach for this a good bit more so this will stay out one more month okay the last thing that I'm putting back in this drawer is this makeup revolution conceal and define concealer I've rearranged things a little bit so you'll see that a little bit more as I start to pull things out but I want to switch this out for some other concealers I got four new concealers so far this year and I need to play with some of them all right so I went ahead and pulled out this little container here I have quite a few primers that have also come into my life this year and I want to pull a couple new ones that I want to play with the first one is this Illamasqua this is the Hydra Veil and it's such a cool I have not use it yet but it's such a cool like jelly like consistency that I really am excited to kind of play with this you won't even be able to see it very well but I haven't tried it yet and I really am excited to try this out now I will admit that even though I didn't pull these two elf primers last month that I did pull them like randomly during the month to use but I think I'll leave them out maybe pull them next month and I'm gonna pull the other new primer that I got the no pore room prime essence and try it out too I don't think I need anything else for now. I do have a primer that I, need, that I need to put back. Let me grab it. Well, I couldn't find it easily because it was already slid back in here. I don't know how I did that, but this is the one heck of a blot primer from Sip and Glory. I had pulled this out last month to use it some, but I think that that pore filling one will be all the pore filling one that I need for this month. If I find myself needing something like this, I'll pull this back out. But for now, I think I'll just stick with those two primers because I want to try to get to know them enough so that I can give a review on them soon. So let's just stick with those two. And I'm going to slip these back here now. So I need another container for all these concealers, but I don't have one. So I will go ahead and pull them all out and just pull out the ones that I need. The ones that I want to keep playing with is this the new, the new one from The Ordinary. I'm going to pull out the shade Fair and see if it mixes well with my e.l.f. one. This e.l.f. one in the shade Light Beige is very dark and yellow, so maybe those two will pair okay. I don't need Shape Tape for now. I don't need the other shade of The Ordinary. And then I want to kind of get to know this other e.l.f. concealer here. This is the Light Sand one in the Camo Matte kind, and I want to try it out a little bit more too. And these three I'll just slip back in the drawer for now. Foundations are back here. I don't need any of those. I'm working on two kind of and I just kind of want to finish those this year So I'm gonna focus on those two but these over here these powders I did get two new powders sent to me from a friend and I think that I'm just going to this this Becca one looks so Cool and looks very good But at the same time I can notice that it has a bit of a, like a tint to it and I am pretty fair right now so I think right now I'll just work on this translucent powder and I have been kind of missing like a loose setting powder for underneath my eyes. So I'll try the Ciate one and then I still have a pressed powder in a project pan that I'll work on. But I feel like this won't, it won't like take away from the fact that I'm already working on another powder. I'll probably just use this underneath my eyes and then the other one to set my whole face. Okay, I'm picking the camera up for this bit. I don't need bronzers. I have one in my project pan. Highlight, I probably could use some highlight, but I do have one in my Natasha Denona palette. So I will grab this little Becca one to go, no, no. Nope, that one's kind of gold. This one's kind of a gold champagne. Uh, you know, if I want one, I'll grab one, but for now, I'll leave that alone. And then the Natasha Denona palette has really nice pink and like 
peach blushes but I do want like a more neutral blush so I think what I'll do is pick up this Hollywood blushing trio from Laura Geller I love this thing I can't open it but I love it and besides this middle one these other two are very neutral so this might be a good pairing to have for the month but yeah I think that's it for this top drawer Okay, next door we have quite a bit to put back here. I have three Super Shock Shadows that I was playing with last month. I have the shade Rainbow that's just kind of like a white glitter top coat. I'll put it back. I have the shade um, Juicy Apple from a super old, these are super old in my collection, but they still kind of work for now. <laughs> I'm knocking things down if you can hear that. They are starting to show a little bit of like drying out, but for now they're still fine. And then I also had the shade Frog, which is a really great like spring and winter kind, kind of shade for me. So I'll put this one back for now. And then I also want to pull a couple out that are spring appropriate, but for now this one can go back. So the first one I want to pull out is a shade called Race You, and it's kind of this like pinky gold kind of thing. It almost looks like a rose gold, but it's a little bit more pink based than typical rose gold is. And then the other shade I have is I Like You, and I recently saw Kana using this in a project pan, and it made me think about this one, and it is such a good shade for this time of year. It's got like a bit of an orange base, but it's got like a pink glitter to it, so I definitely want to pull this out this month. And then the last one here reminds me of St. Patrick's Day, so this is Cusp, and it's got this like green base, but it's very a cool tone, kind of greeny blue kind of shade. So I wanna play with that sun this month. Okay, so last month I did actually end up pulling out two Stila glitters. I did use both of them, but they were a little, they weren't the best performing. I ended up trying to rehydrate them a bit because they were starting to dry out, but I kind of overdid it a little bit. So I think I need to give it like a couple weeks and I'm sure they'll dry back out some and they'll be fine. But for now, I'm gonna slip these back in my collection. Now this here, the NYX glitter in um, Crystal Silk, I used this last month and had so much fun with it and I kind of want to keep it out again especially if you saw my pan those eyeshadows update you'll see that like my my shades are very neutral and this is even though it's like the same gold that I'm already working on having a different texture of a gold is fun to play with so I'm actually gonna leave this out another month and another similar product to that other one is this elf glitter in the shade sea foam I actually want to pull this out too just because I've I've really had a lot of fun adding a little bit of glitter here and there in a look and I think this will be a nice color to add for spring too all right one more fun thing to pull out this month is that I wanted to kind of start playing with some color again my pandas eyeshadow shades are super neutral so right now I think I don't know if I'll reach for them too too much it might be a little bit closer to summer but I want to pull these out and maybe see them and if I feel inspired to reach for them next month I will these are the Suver Hydro Liners, and I have the shades Dance Party and Fanny Pack, and I think that maybe I can put these in a look here and there. Even if it's just like a couple dots of a neon pop, maybe, maybe that will be fun. So I'll pull these out. And again, I thought about putting this liner here back. This is Tropical Green from NYX, but it's just such a good color for this time of year. So I'm going to leave this out for maybe a month, maybe even two more months, because it's just so good. I have some other liner colors that are more like summer appropriate, but since we're kind of just about to hit spring officially and this is just such a good spring color as well as like a winter color I'm gonna leave it out and I do believe that's everything for this drawer okay last drawer here we go we have a bunch of eyeshadow palettes to talk about first and foremost I'll show you some of the ones I'm gonna put back this month the first is my dose of colors Frankation palette I recently hit pan on this in my pandas eyeshadows project so this can go back now the next one I'm grabbing is not one that was in a project, but I did just try to reach for this in February and I did wear it a couple times and I stinking love this palette. This is the Electric Palette from Marc Jacobs. Phenomenal quality, so I will put this back. Okay, another palette that I recently had in a project pan that I am, I have hit goal on it, so I will put it back. This is the Sigma Enchanted Palette. Such a good color story for this time of the year, but I do want to play with some other things for now. Next up is this Beauty Bay Pastels palette, and this was one that actually, right until I grabbed it, I thought I was going to slip it back in the drawer, but this just reminds me of spring, so I think I'm going to leave this out one more month, especially since, again, I have such a neutral color story. Maybe I'll feel like grabbing something like this and playing with it once in a while. I'll leave this now. Now, I'll also show you the other palettes that are still in my project so that you can see the color stories that I kind of have to play with this month. The first one that's staying out is this Lorac Pro 3 palette. Super neutral color story, so you can kind of see not a lot to work with, but we have some other ones that are a little bit more colorful. This one, the Soul Monday palette from Odin's Eye, has some fun pops of colors in it, but I haven't really had a chance to play with it enough, so I definitely, it's also 
one in a project now, so I definitely need to leave this one out. But maybe I can make myself reach for some of those more fun pops of color. Another palette that I have to reach for this month. Now this one does have like a nice bloom kind of pop of spring color. Um, I do need to kind of make some use out of this, and then I need to finish using this shade in my Pandas Eyeshadows project. And then the last one in my Pandas Eyeshadows project is my Night and Day palette, and it's a very cool tone. So I actually may want to try to look for something that I can pair with this, because I find that a lot of times when I reach for this palette, I recreate the same look over and over again. And while I like that look, I need to get a little bit more creative. So maybe I can find a two kind of eyeshadow palettes to pair with what I have going on for this next month. Okay, so the first thing that I wanna grab is this Norvina palette. As I look around my collection, I realize that I don't have a ton of like cool tone shimmer shades. And this is not like a super cool tone palette by any means. There's quite a, a mixture of tones, mostly warm I would say in this palette. But I think it would pair okay with that kind of taupey shade that I need to work on in my project pan. So I, especially thinking about this purple here and this pink here, I think both of those shades would look really good with that kind of taupey shade. So I'm going to leave this out for this next month. And then the next palette I know that I want to play with as we go into spring is Baby Got Peach. I love peach tones in the spring so much. And so I have been itching to play with this. I'm super excited to pull this out and play with it. I Again, love these peachy tones, and I really, really, really enjoy this palette, so this one will stay out too. And I just realized that I never put back these. I pulled these out specifically to do a green look the other night. We went to a friend's little birthday gathering, and I pulled out these like beautiful olivey green tones in the middle of spring, but I'm not gonna wear them right now, so I'll put these back too. All right, last up for the store, I wanted to put back a couple things. I did get a chance to wear Vitamin Beats, once and so I will put it back. I did not get a chance to wear my like berry Stila one so I'll leave it out as well as the glitter that goes with it and then I didn't get a chance to wear my purple yet. I really didn't do a great job of reaching for lips or colorful lipsticks last month. I did get to wear this guy and I wore this red lip from The Rock, so I'll put those two back. So I do have this one red lipstick from Maybelline that I want to leave out, but I also want to grab my new Illamasqua red lipstick and try it out. And maybe I actually want to see how comparable those two are. So those two will be good to have out together. Now, I did get a chance to wear this like light pink kind of lipstick. I will put it back. Very interesting shade. It's definitely something that I just don't feel 100% comfortable in, even though I do think it's really pretty. It's just a pastel lipstick, and you kind of have to have the right occasion and the right like look on to kind of pull it off or at least I do but I will put this back for now now a shade that I did love wearing last month was my troublemaker from Too Faced shade I freaking love that red or that pink hot pink lipstick and I will leave it out one more month because I just haven't got enough of it yet and I also didn't get a chance to wear Bite Beauty Fig yet so I'll leave it out and then the last thing I wanted to pull was this Palladio Casey Holmes collab lipstick in the shade Georgia such a beautiful shade and I really do enjoy like this shade at this time of the year especially since I'm pulling that peach palette out I'm standing in the most awkward position if you would see me right now you'd laugh your butt off at me but this is such a good peach shade. I think it would pair really well with the peach palette, so I'm gonna pull this out. And I think for right now, that's it. I do have the Lipstick Queen li lipstick in here, and I will go ahead and slip it back in there because I don't need it. I, I pulled it out for like one look last month, but yeah, I think that's good for now. All right, this is everything that I pulled out to use for the month of March. Holy cow, can you believe it's already March? Make sure you say hello in the comments. Let me know if you put anything in your makeup basket for the month that you're super excited to reach for. I'm actually kind of surprised that I'm not reaching for more green tones, but for whatever reason, I'm really hoping that pastels are gonna be in again this year, and I really feel very motivated to reach for pastels. So fingers crossed it's still a trend, and I will see you in the next one. Make sure, again, say hello, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.